Good morning, it's uh, Ignoble Gnome again, and I wanted to show a quick test of my uh, rotary encoder um, modified servo and uh, show it's working. I, I built it last night um, and posted a video on that uh, and verified that the motors were still working and the gear train worked, which is great. Now I wanted to do a quick test to see if the encoder was actually doing what it's supposed to do. So I devised the simplest circuit I possibly could, which is over here. Um, here we have our uh, battery a switch, two LEDs with uh, current limiting resistors, and uh, one, the yellow LED, is hooked up to um, one channel of the encoder. The red LED is hooked up to the other channel of the encoder. Uh, the ground of the encoder is hooked up to the battery ground as is the mo one lead of the motor inside the servo. The, uh, this is the other motor lead, this blue wire. And, um, and that's it. So the switch is already on. And uh, what you'll see when I touch the motor lead to the positive is that the, well, I don't know how well you can see it, but those LEDs are actually pulsing. And here we have one LED, the yellow channel uh, is on and the red channel uh, is off. There, they're both off. Now the red's on. Now they're both on. Both off. Okay, so obviously it's going multiple. Um, you can see based on the revolutions, you know, I can't, I can't stop it at one detent, right? But if I can manage, hmm, how am I going to do this? Let's see. We still have a view of the LEDs. I'm going to have to turn this a little. See if I can do that without killing my circuit. Clip this on a little better. I wanted a very quick way of testing this without having to do any coding or uh, oh, invest time in, say, a breadboard. So it's just the simplest, simplest thing possible. Okay, I think you can see both LEDs now red one and the yellow one. I'm going to physically turn <laughs> I'm going to physically knock my camera over. I'm going to physically turn my encoder, uh, my motor and you can see both on, red only, yellow, both off, yellow. I'm trying to pop through the sequence as slowly as possible. There's considerable um, force behind you know, required to turn the wheel by hand, so let's see, yellow, red, yellow, red, oh, okay, both off, both on, it, but I think I missed a step because I think it should only change one thing at a time, so it's both were off, yellow, red, and then should have been yellow on. So the way the rotary encoder works, uh, called gray code and uh, it should go through a cycle of maybe I can slow this down later and I don't know if I can do slow motion on my video pro with my video programming but basically it should only change one bit at a time so to speak it's called gray code Okay, so anyway, the encoder works. Hurrah. Um, that is uh, the important bit, and um, I look forward to putting this in a, uh, in a circuit.